Hey everyone. Hi guys. David and Evelise. David and Evelise dot com, and uh, I'm working my way through uh, T. Harv Eker's book, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. And literally, I was over on the couch a few moments ago reading about um, a section about being um, uh, a, a receiver, a good receiver, a thankful receiver. And we we always talk or emphasize. Uh, being, you know, a good giver, and and there's a flip side, and that is being a good receiver. And uh, just to give you a little backdrop today, I was uh, heading down to the um, YMCA, walked in, uh, and as I was um, uh, showing my membership card, uh, the girl at the desk, she has this uh, beaming smile on her face. She looks up at me. And she says, what a great smile, or something to that effect. And I didn't even think I was smiling, but my natural um, inclination <laughs> is, is to deflect. And instead of simply saying thank you, I inadvertently, unwittingly uh, ripped her off by <laughs> – in, in a way, because I, I I didn't I didn't allow her the pleasure of giving the compliment fully, and by by deflecting it, and I think I said something to the effect of, "Well, you have a big smile too, or a great smile too," and I I just turned right around, and it it I could tell in in a way a little way that it kind of dampened um, her response, and I thought just reflecting this evening as I was reading after the fact about being a good receiver, I thought, yeah, I totally unwittingly, unknowingly ripped her off, didn't give her that pleasure of the full compliment. And I think I saw it when, when after I responded with how I responded, she didn't really say anything after that. Um, and so it it's fascinating when the when the, you know that this happened this morning and then it caused me to think back based on what I was reading this evening about being a good receiver and the idea that you know if you're not a good receiver at least the author writes you know this can affect you in all other areas even when it comes to being a good receiver of gifts that people give you, physical gifts, and even being a good receiver when it comes to receiving money. And so um, it really got me thinking. Me too. Well, <laughs> But you can speak no, to it. I yeah. tend to deflect. I always tend to deflect. Um, yeah. I, I don't like being the center of attention generally. I've never well, have. No, yeah. it doesn't even have to be the center of attention. I understand it's that, yeah. He doesn't even like any attention. Not much, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> I am definitely not an attention yeah. but I have to I have to like not even a happy birthday. Yeah. Not, no thanks. Like you just it's very hard for you to receive anything. Right. And that's what I've I mean, right. I've noticed that, but it's kind of cool that now he's realizing. Yeah, because you, we tend to think, oh yeah, you know, I'm being mo I'm being modest, or you know, and that's a good thing, right? To be modest and not not uh, you know be avaricious and 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 want you know things, but you know, the, it's a fine line, right? And so, anyhow, uh, we keep talking about how in when it comes when it comes to marketing online, part of this process, part of doing this as a business is personal growth and and so it's really cool when you come across something that you say hey and you recognize it and say yeah this is an area that I need to to work on so next time this happens I've got to be prepared to just simply say thank you and accept the compliment or if it happens to be a birthday or Christmas or what have you get a gift you know even though I'm not seeking a gift looking for a gift if I get it uh, if I don't respond appropriately what am I doing I'm taking the joy of giving away from the person who's given the gift Yeah, because you look at like what are the um, you know five love languages even if it's not coming from a spouse or um, that type or a relationship there's still love languages between parents and children and 
in-laws and you know other family members and friends and if you if they want to give you a gift because that's their love language then I, I think this speaks to that situation you know in a way too so I'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, are, are you a better giver or a better receiver? Uh, it's obviously important to be both. That's the point. Well, when we were discussing that last night is that um, the, the whole idea of being a, um, being a giver is better than being a receiver or how does it, um, it is better. Giving is better than receiving. Yes. Yeah. But you can't give if you can't receive anything. If you're not receiving anything, how are you going to give anything away? Even if it's just love, even if it's just, um, you know, it mindset stuff. It, it doesn't have to be tangible, right? Right. So, anyway, just wanted to put that out there. Um, if you guys haven't checked out the book, um, it's it's really good. So, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Harv Eker. And uh, other than that, we'll let us know if you've read yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Put a comment below. You know, one if you've read it, two if you have it, but you haven't read it yet, and a three if you had no idea what we're talking about. <laughs> All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.